a sunny morning and the first real flush of spring. Spring has come earlier this year and the frogs are in full chorus and spawning has started in our garden pond. The ducks have arrived and will be around our garden for the next four months. In our rockery and scree garden, the earlier alpines have responded to the warmer lengthening days, and one of my favourite alpines, the purple saxifrage, is already in full bloom. This plant is my seasonal indicator for our yearly visit to Penny Ghent in the Pennines to find this beautiful alpine which still manages to cling on in this harsh environment. The round trip is about six and a half miles and today we'll climb Penigent up the steep side face. It's easier on the legs going up this rocky scramble rather than down it. From the top of the scramble, the path rises slowly up to the grassy summit. This year, we're approaching the limestone cliffs from the summit. From now on, most of the climbing is over. Our first glimpse of the flowers are on these limestone cliffs, but all these are inaccessible. So we move slowly along the base of these cliffs taking great care on their rocky, unstable ground. Well this is what we've come to see, the early purple saxifrage. It really is an arctic alpine flower. We've been coming up here for more than 30 years and the satisfaction of finding these tiny flowers is well worth all the effort it takes to get here. We are always amazed how this tiny flower manages to survive in this harsh environment and at this time of year it stands out like a glistening jewel in these almost colourless locations. Scrambling along the base of these cliffs gives us wonderful views over Ribblehead and Ingleborough. The flowers haven't reached their best this year and we are probably about two weeks early. Give it another week and there'll be a lot more out. There's a big clump here uh, ready to come out and in another few days there'll be some more to come out here. By the end of April the show will be over for another year but next year we'll hopefully be back again to record and film this tiny flower, an annual event we'll never tire of.